Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1100 ladder. I really do appreciate all the support. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am. I've had some good things go my way today. So, I want to talk about this Infernity deck that came in top four at an OTS championship just, uh, just this past weekend, I believe, because I remember that this came out while I was covering the uh, YC yes in lima so it must it had to be this past weekend but this is infernity in 2023 now before we get into the deck list i gotta say if you do not think that this format is diverse i gotta bust out an old saying that we haven't said in forever you need to go touch grass <laughs> like literally just just go and touch your grass go go and hug it a little bit maybe go you know kiss a tree or something like go out go for a walk go do something with your life because this format in my humble opinion all jokes aside I feel is so diverse. If you're able to take a deck like fucking Infernity and actually do something with your life, like, bruh, like, this is probably going to be the one time that we see Infernity top for, like, the next 10 years unless, like, Archfiend and or Launcher come back to three. Like, I just saw that Robbie Cole uploaded a video and he's showing off a Evil Swarm deck that came in, like, top four. I don't know if it was, like, an OTS championship or what, but that should speak to how much more diverse this format is compared to Tier 0 Tier Element Baby Back bullshit from last format. And then people tell me, oh, I don't want to deal with Cash Tier and them locking out my zones and mill my deck. Bro, do you know how many times I've gotten Kaiju? Do you know how many times i gotten spear mode or nibiru or hell even lava golemed like this format i would rather play in this format for six months i kid you not for six months than deal with like a tier element tier zero format for even a week like this format is just so much more fun and so much more just creative i don't know why people don't like this format because of that i don't know anyway <laughs> i want to talk about uh this infernity deck that came in top four i ain't no infernity expert i ain't played the deck literally since 2010 when it was at full power um, so I'm, I'm familiar with like what some of the old cards do, like Necromancer, Mirage, obviously Infernity Barrier being the first of the Infernity Barrier type cards in the game. Um, and then Launcher, of course, just being a disgusting card. Um, so I, I'm going to try and read these so that it's like not holding up the deck profile, but anyway, let's just dive on into it. So first we have Infernity General. If you have no cards in your hand, you can banish this card from your grave, target two level three lower Infernity monsters in your grave, special summon them from the graveyard, but their effects are negated. Kind of feels like a better Infernity Beetle, honestly, in 2,700 attacks. So we're playing one of him, one Archfiend, because you can only play one. This card needs to come back to three. Oh, like this... This is like the pin that holds Infernity uh, together. A uh, two Stygian Street Patrol. Uh, we're also playing two copies of Patriarch. So if this is the only card in your hand, you could special summon it from your hand. You can only special summon Patriarch once per turn this way. And while you have no cards in your hand, if an Infernity monster monster you control will be destroyed by battle by card effect, you can banish this card from your grave instead. So basically like a branded opening, it's... Doesn't seem too terrible, I guess. Got a 2,000 ass, so that's cute. A uh, one Phoenix Rhino Warrior, because we are playing the Tour Guide engine. Uh, three Infernity Wildcats. So you can special summon this card from your hand by setting one other Infernity monster in your hand to the grave. It can only be special summoned once per turn this way. While you have no cards in your hand, you can banish an Infernity monster from your grave. Increase or decrease the level of this card by one until the end of this turn. You can only use each effect once per turn. And it's a level three tuner, so you can modify its level to go into like your Baron 100 Eyes or even uh, Archfiend, uh, Infernity Doom Archfiend. Uh, we're playing one Conjurer, so while you have no cards in your hand, monsters your opponent controls will lose 800 attack. That's cute. While you have no cards in your hand and this card's in your grave, you could special summon this card by banishing when it leaves the field. So basically, it's kind of like a Plague Spreader or a Glow Bulb. And then the three tour guide with the Archfiend Eris. Eris is basically like an extender. You just get to add an Archfiend card, so you can add Infernity Archfiend because it's technically an Archfiend card. We're playing two copies of Necromancer because it's basically just a monster reborn. Uh, one Sage, so during your main phase, you can ditch your whole hand. Yeah. And then if it's sent to the grave, you can send an Inferno monster from your deck to the grave. And if you have no cards in your hand... Oh, you, I'm sorry. You must have no cards in your hand to activate and resolve this effect. So you use the first effect to dump your whole hand. Then you can dump an Infernity from deck to grave. Uh, and then we're playing one Mirage to be able to get two Infernities from the grave. Uh, for the spells, we're playing one, one for one. And then we're playing two copies of... Uh, what's called this creepy little punk, but it's called Return of the Reaper in the OCG. So it's always treated as an Infernity card. That's hot. Special summon one of your Infernity monsters that is banished or in your hand or grave. So the ones that you banish, you can now get back thanks to this card. Um, if, an, if a face-up Infernity monster monster you control is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect with this card's in your grave, you can set this card. You can only use each effect once per turn. It's honestly pretty good because if you think about it, if you have like Wildcat up, you banish an Infernity, then you can use a little Punk to get the card back. So that seems kind of good. Then zero max. So activate only if you have no cards in your hand. Select an Infernity monster in your grave, aka target. Special summon it. Destroy all face-up monsters on the field with attack lower than the special summon monsters of attack. And you can't conduct your battle phase during the turn you activate. So you dump the general and then you can use max to get out general and pop anything that's less than 2700. 
as we pop a beer because this deck deserves it. Mm. Damn, that's good. We're playing one Foolish Burial, one Monster Reborn, a one Infernity Paranoia. So you tribute a Dark Monster to special summon an Infernity from Deck or Grave at the same level but a different name, but negate its effects. During your main phase, except return this card is sent to the Grave, you can banish this card from your Grave, target an Infernity Monster in your Grave, add it to your hand, you can only activate one Paranoia per turn. Pretty good recursion. A World Legacy Succession, because from what I can tell, you're going to go into an All Mirage or a Cherubini, so then you have lines to use Succession. We're playing two copies of Droplets, because it's good. Uh, three Void Apocalypse, you just ditch a card to send a Fiend from Deck to Grave. Uh, that's really all it does. And then one copy of Launcher. Uh, yeah, it's a double Monster Reborn. If this card came back to three, I think this deck would actually be a lot better. Like, honestly, like, can we have a petition? Can we bring Archfiend and Launcher back to three? I want to see Infernity do something. Uh, we're playing three Imperm, and then one Break. Uh, if you have new cards in your hand, you can target Infernity card in your grave, and one card your opponent controls. Banish the first target, and if you do, destroy the second target, which is fine because we're going to use a little Punk to get it back anyway. And, of course, three Infernity Barrier. It's an Omni Negate. Y'all should know how good this card is. The first of its kind, to be honest. I remember this card was $60 out of Shining Darkness for the original Secret Rares. And, and now, only now, finally, are the first edition near Mint Secret Rares actually hitting the $60 mark again. Uh, for the extra deck, we're playing one Baron, 100 Eyes. This can just copy any monster effect. Uh, the one Infernity Doom Archfiend. So it's a generic level 6, one tuner plus one or more non-tuner. Uh, once per turn, you can target one face-up card on the field, negate its effects to the end of this turn. Then if you have no cards in your hand, you can destroy it. While you have no cards in your hand, and this card battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage this card inflicts your opponent is doubled. A dark synchro monster that was summoned using this card as a material can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. So you can use this to negate and destroy something. Then since this thing's, uh, or since you run like level 2 tuner, and stuff, uh, you, or even like decrease the level Wildcat to make it a level two. You can then synchro into the Infernity Doom Drag or Infernity Doom Drum, the Hundred Eyes Dragon, since that takes one Dark Tuner plus one or more non Fiend types. This is a Fiend, so then you can use this effect to copy the Doom and get another pop. Seems pretty good. Uh, one Dugaris, one Levier, uh, double Skull Dread, one Zelantis, one Access Code, one Apollosa, one Phoenix, uh, and one Unicorn. Uh, then we're playing the Barricade Board Blocker because this is a continuous spell, uh, so you can, you know, get it with it. Uh, and then one Cherubini for the dump, because that seems pretty good. And then uh, one All Mirage. For the side deck, we're playing one Change of Heart, three Lightning Storm with two Talents and a Thrust, three Evenly, three D Barrier. And then <clears throat> we're playing this interesting continuous trap called Tyrant's Tummy Ache. So you activate by tributing one monster. Neither player can special summon a level six or higher monster. If you have three or more cards in your hand, destroy this card which that's probably never going to come up because you're playing fucking Infernities. So this is literally just a fuck you to Cash Tira because unless they have the birth, they're going to have to special summon their level seven Cash Tiras. And even if they play birth, if you went first, you're most likely going to have one to two, hopefully three Infernity Barriers set in the back row. So this is the craziest out I've ever seen to Cash Tira. So I think that that's really funny. Um... Again, I'm not going to claim that I know how the hell to play this deck. I've done a few test hands. From what I can gather, just from like doing the test hands and the lines that this deck has, you usually, at least it seems to me, go for the All Mirage and then like climb up with an Extender or World Legacy Succession to get out another monster. Go for um, like either Chirabini or like Barricade Board Blocker or like climb up into like a Synchro or a Skull Dread and start just pile driving, drawing through your deck to get your resources and pieces that you need uh, so that you can win the ball game. Um, other than that, it seems to mostly, again, like just gathering from a few test hands, like just getting your three barriers, putting them in the back row and like setting up as as good of a negate filled board as you can, which I mean is really good. Like especially with barrier not being once per turn, you know, back, th keep in mind that this is back in like 2010, ladies and gentlemen, like Shining Darkness was when we got all the good Infernity stuff. And so you didn't have these hard once per turn stuff. Like Archfiend's not once per turn. Launcher is not once per turn. If you had three launchers, you could use all three. Uh, barrier, again, is not once per turn. If you have an Archfiend on the field in attack mode with no cards in hand and three barrier set, then the opponent is, in theory, playing with a three-card hand because you can just negate three of their cards out of their six-card starting hand. So, like, in that regard, this deck is very interesting. You know, obviously, the tour guides being a one-card Shirabini or a, uh, an Xyz of th uh, rank three Xyz, um, so you do have some interesting lines in here. Uh, this would definitely throw people off. Like if you took this to a regional or something, is this good enough to take to a regional? <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know. You know, for an OTS championship, you have to keep in mind that you're playing anywhere from four, maybe five or six rounds if you have enough of a turnout. So there's not that 
massive consistency factor that you would need in like a nine round or an eight round regional. And on top of that too, like once you get to top eight at the OTS championship, you only have to play one more round in order to finish in top four. Like you've got to play out top four and then the finals. But once you get to top four, then you've got your invite. So for something like a locals or even OTS championship, you see crazy things like this pop up. Now, what again, what are the proper lines of this deck? I have no fucking idea because I just don't know how this functions. So if you're the person that topped with this at your OTS championship, man, we've seen Nordics top a regional. Maybe Infernities can do it too, but I would love to interview you if you happen to uh, see this video, whoever you are. I have not seen Infernities do anything since I think like 2013 when they had Lovable Chain. This brings back a lot of memories. You know, Infernity was one of my first meta decks uh, that like I really learned and, and actually, you know, learn the lines and how to play properly so this this definitely hits close to home i love it 10 out of 10 would recommend so guys let me know what you think about this deck down in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video